Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Doom 2's Hell Revealed on Ultraviolence. This is map 23, Ascending to the Stars. It is described by the creators as follows. You enter some sort of flying technological base with heavy resistance, especially around the Red Key. You have to penetrate Blue Sector, a little known radioactive area, in order to get one of the keys. Your mission is to destroy the main reactor of the base. Size, large. Difficulty, very hard. Alright, map 23. The second hardest level on Harry Build, in my opinion. And it starts off relatively easy, as you can see. It's just a bunch of imps in a big room. A big room that is divided in four sections. Each section has a group of, imp like, group of imps like this. And you don't have to kill them right now, you can just run past them, grab a better gun, and then take them out later. It's much faster. But then your risk of being able to get 100% kills. Because, as you can hear, there are Arachnotrons next to me. So they are in a separate room. And when you cross a certain line depth later in this level, the Arachnotrons will teleport into this room with the imps. But if an imp is blocking the teleport destination, the Arachnotron cannot get in. And the Arachnotron will only attempt to teleport in a single time. So if it cannot teleport in, it will never try again and it will forever remain into that room which you cannot access and therefore you cannot get 100% uh, kills so I'm killing all the imps right now to ensure American drones can uh, teleport in and that I can kill them later so it may seem a bit tedious killing all these imps with the shotgun but I personally think it's quite fun I like shooting imps with the shotgun I think it's quite satisfying. Just the way they fall over and react to the damage, it's really, uh, it's fun. Just takes a bit of time, that's all. So this is the second section done. Here's the third one. Now on to the fourth and last one. And once we're done with these imps, we're gonna open the door, grab the plasma rifle, and we're gonna run to a secret area. And we're gonna make the monsters infight each other. And we will be relatively safe. So here we go. Open the door, grab the plasma. And just run like hell. Run to the secret area. And close the door. Okay. And now I will make everything in fight. Not very exciting, but this area is incredibly difficult. And I tried many methods. I tried rushing for the next area. But I lose so much health here that I just cannot survive the next area. But rarely I got to the next area with enough health. But this is more like my, I don't know, my 100th attempt. Well, not literally, but I've died so many times so far. And it's just, I'm getting tired of it. This map is so difficult. For some reason, monsters are idle. So yeah, I'm gonna kill, make them kill each other like this. And hopefully this will make stuff easier. So yeah, it's maybe a bit boring, but this level is really hard. And this saves me some ammo also. Because ammo-wise, this map is mm, quite bad. Except for rockets. And that arch file is really annoying. And there's a chain gunner shooting me. And hitting me even. Okay, time to kill the revenants. Somehow. Not. Okay. 
Okay, that went okay. Mm, I hear a demon somewhere, but I'll kill him later. For now, I want to kill the Archfell. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so there's a Mancubus left. Baron. They're gonna infight, that's good. I think the Baron's gonna win. So I'll start killing this Mancubus here. Oh! Mancubus won. But he cannot win against me. So I think the Arachnotron spawned in. But I'll take him out later. First I wanna... Deal with this area. Yep, I'm already getting hit by the... Hit scanner, the Spider Mastermind. So... The strategy here is to just run in circles until the Spider Mastermind dies. And I will shoot some rockets once in a while. Because these Mancubi just tear you apart if you don't if you are not careful. Oh god. I hate when that happens. She's done infighting and then targets you. But she will always lose to the Mancubi, so. I think she's almost dead. She takes a lot of damage from those fireballs. Yeah, there she goes. And then dealing with these mancubi is also really annoying. But they gave you a lot of rockets for this, so... It's just really... Really... Nerve-wracking. Okay. Almost done here. I'm glad this uh, this area went uh, quite okay. I didn't lose too much health. This is the first attempt uh, grabbing the mega armor first and then going into this area. Without armor, this area is just impossible. Especially when the spider mastermind starts targeting you. Just chips away your health like, like there's no tomorrow. Alright, we're done with this area for now, but then we're going to have to deal with this. So, two barons, nothing too bad. And there's a reason I waited before shooting, until the door closed. It's because there's also two archers in this room. And I will wake them both up, wake them up like this. Hope they don't resurrect the baron. Uh oh. Okay, nice. Okay, now we're gonna initiate a huge party. Check this out. So, all these monsters, we're just gonna let them infight. Barons included, and the cyber demons. And. While they are having a party, I'm gonna deal with the Hell Knights and the Arachnotrons we skipped earlier. And I will be back later, and I will take the teleporter. For the most bullshit area in the entire game. And you're gonna see what that is. It's the biggest bullshit ever.
And yeah, there's uh, six archfiles down there. I don't want to get too close, or they're gonna set me on fire. I'll let the Hell Knights come here, so they don't get resurrected. And I gotta make sure I'm high on health and high on armor. Oh yeah, and here's the Arachnotrons I mentioned earlier, at the beginning. So these Arachnotrons will only attempt to teleport in a single time. Uh oh. Why didn't you teleport in? What the hell? You're supposed to teleport in. Why isn't he... Oh, man. That's an annoying glitch. Maybe he'll teleport in later, but I don't think so. They tag a one-time use teleport tag. Or line death. I don't think we can get 100% kills. I'm afraid. Because of this glitch. Man, it really sucks. This is a known glitch in this level. People who speedrun this level, they um, are not required to kill the Arachnotrons. Because, because of this glitch. They cannot always teleport in for some reason. It's really annoying. So I'll make a, an exception for this level for 100% kills. Unfortunately. I gotta make the Cyber Demon in 5 with the Barons. No, not the Arachnotrons, the Barons. Ah, oh, whatever, they will in fight later. I'm gonna take this bullshit teleporter. This is the most bullshit error in the game. This is such bullshit. Oh, thank god I survived that. Just barely. It's just such bullshit. I hate this. This is such... I don't know. I, I don't wanna... Describe this stupid ass room. It's so unfair. Okay, so let's initiate the infight again and continue with the next area. Come on, Cyber. Is he gonna shoot or what? Yeah, he's gonna hit them. Okay, good. Now let's move on to the next area. This is what the description uh, mentioned, the blue sector. Okay, so here are Revenants and a Mancubus. And if you just open and close the door like this, the Mancuba Mancubus will infight the Revenants. And, well, he died fairly easy. Usually the Mancubus takes down a few Revenants before he dies, but... I don't think he even killed one. Okay. Now here comes another bullshit area. The blue sector. Actually, I have plenty of rockets this time. I think I'll use an, uh, a nice little doom feature. So there's four barons down there in a very, very, very tiny area. But maybe I can kill them using the infinite Z axis. Like their explosions have infinite height. So if I just shoot like this. One, two, three. I'll take down the fourth one. Oh wait, he's right here. Okay, okay, this makes this area a lot easier if you have rockets. And I shouldn't have grabbed that soul sphere. Okay, so now there's two arch files. I can take them down from down here. I can even use rockets if I want to. 
Perfect. You know, I'm kind of improvising now, so I'm quite happy this is working out. Okay, this next area is also extremely difficult. So up here is a cyber demon and some in uh, pinkies. Ooh, I was afraid that was going to happen. So I'm going to take down the cyber demon first. Because he's really dangerous. Okay, now the Hell Knights. Yeah, great rocket this, you know. Fantastic. This is the furthest I've gotten so far. A few attempts ago, I died at the Cyber Demon. Like this one. But then again, that run went really well. I didn't use the the safe space in the beginning. And I got all four Arachnotrons, not uh, th only three. Okay, so here's three Archvows, which you can just use the peekaboo method. Just gotta make sure that they don't zap you. So gotta listen to their uh, summoning, fire summoning sounds. quite cheap, but uh, this map is just really difficult and I just want to finish it, no matter how, whether it's cheap or boring, I just want to be done with this. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy playing this level a lot, just because it's really challenging. Um, now that we press that switch, we can access a secret. Let's see if the Arachnotron spawned in. Nope. The Arachnotron's supposed to spawn here, but he's stuck there. That bastard. I really hate that glitch. It's such a waste. Okay, so we press the switch and it's gonna lower that megasphere over there. And, well, how do you get that megasphere? I'll grab it later, not right now, because I'm actually kind of stacked. And, wow! The Cyberdemon did a great job. Usually the Barons win. Okay, good. So I'm gonna have to deal with the cyber demon here. And I think that's gonna spawn one more because I heard one. Another one. In the teleport room. Yeah, another one's gonna teleport in, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, that should be it. Okay, I'm gonna grab the secret Negasphere before I head into the next area. So, to gain access to that Negasphere, you're gonna have to go back to Blue Sector. And after you press the switch where the Cyber Demon was, the one with the Hell Knights, you can open this door and it will lower the Negasphere here. And that's it. Um, this switch lowers the Megasphere. 
All right, so now we're almost done with this level. Just one more heart section left. So instead of the right teleporter, we now take the left teleporter. And this method is a bit stupid, but we teleport in, teleport out, and shoot the arch files. In, shoot, out. We'll do this a few times until they all die. This is the best method I could find. You can take them out from above. But it's a bit awkward. This is easier when you will make sure your pellets hit them well. And make sure you wait long enough before you teleport in. Because sometimes they will hit you when you teleport in. Because they didn't finish their summoning attack. Okay, I hope that one is dead. No. Maybe now? Okay. Sweet. And now we have rockets again. That's also very nice. Okay. This room is a lot of bullshit. Did you see all those arch files? So I'm gonna apply the same method here. Just open and close the door. Make everything in fight. Until everything is dead. And then I will take out the arch files. It's really stupid. But this room is really stupid. So I have a reason. Okay. Good thing they gave us a lot of rockets, but uh, to take out the arch files, just use the same method, teleport in, teleport out, shoot them a bit. And make sure you wait long enough, because sometimes they will hit you. Yeah, this is the best strategy I can think of. Not very exciting, but... Honestly, what would you do with this room? How would you deal with all these archfiles? There's no place to hide. But once you're done with one side, it's uh, easy to take out the rest. Ooh, the door almost closed behind me. It would have been an instant death. And again. Man, I've got to be more careful. And the outro in the far back is really annoying to hit. Maybe with a chain gun I can snipe him. I good. Okay, the rest is easy to take care of. But you can hide at the wall here. Instead of having to teleport back and forth. Oops. Oh, he got me. I was hoping I would have been just in time, but no. I hate it when they're so far back. Okay. Okay, now there's only one more difficult fight to go. Oh, hello. Forgot about, forgot about this mancubus. Okay. Um, a cyber demon. That's right. I'm 
gonna make an infight with the barons. He's almost dead. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, 366 out of 367. I'm not think I don't think the um Arachnotron spawned in. I'm gonna check just in case, but I'm pretty sure he's not here. No, the Arachnotron uh, decided not to spawn in. So he's still here, you can hear him. Okay, so this is something I won't do often, but I'm gonna use cheats. I'm gonna no clip into this room. Take out the Arachnotron like this. No clip back. And there we have it. All the kills. So yeah, I'm not proud of uh, that, but... It's a glitch, man. I cannot help it. I have no control over that teleporter. Killing all the imps is a factor that helps. Usually uh, all four Arachnotrons uh, stay stuck if you don't kill all the imps. But um, yeah, I got very unlucky or I don't know. This never happened before. When killing all the imps, that is. Now that I have a good run, of course the Rocketron doesn't spawn in. Anyway, we're done. So yeah, um, shame about the, the glitch, but uh, other than that, this map is, believe it or not, I really like it. It's really difficult and it has a certain atmosphere that makes you like, it's it's a very, I don't know, it makes, makes you very... Um, how do you call it? Makes you feel unease. Like it's so I don't know. It's a very special map. It it's one of those classic hell reviewed maps. Just sheer difficulty that you cannot describe. And it has some bullshit moments, like the chain gunner trap, the arch files you have to kill, but I don't know. I can kind of tolerate it, because the map is really difficult. So, uh, and there's always a method to take out all the monsters. Like, all these strategies, I just thought of myself. I've never watched, like, an Ultra Violence Max or Ultra Violence Fast. I'm really curious how other people uh, finish this level, but this is the best I could come up with. And I did improvise a lot during this um, recording. So yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, that's the beauty of this level. There are so many methods to finish it. And whatever you do, it will always be difficult. But it's kind of in a fair way, except of course it's chain gonna trap, which is bullshit. It kind of ruins the map for me, but it's not a deal breaker. Anyway, that's uh, map 23, very brutal. And up next is map 24, which the creators describe as the hardest level in Hell Revealed. So, is it true? Is it gonna be the hardest level? We're gonna see. So, uh, until next then, and I'll see you later.